I was asked for a quick video, so I'm going to show you uh, this tra training to take a pill on cue. Um, you're going to see how Indomiel takes her pill without any, without it being wrapped in anything. It's not treated in any way to make it taste better. It's about an inch long, fairly unattractive uh, pill. And um, she's going to take that on cue and then be reinforced with a piece of cheese, which I will give her. Now, this is going to be a little bit awkward. Um, I don't usually do this while I'm holding a phone <laughs> trying to get a video. So I'm going to try to balance the phone and the cheese uh, in one hand. All right, that's a good girl. Are you ready? I know, I know. Hold on. Take your pill. Excellent. And then here's the cheese. Good. And I think I lost your face a little bit. I'm sorry. Here you go. Excellent. Good girl. Good luck. Okay, I'm going to have to check the video. Uh, I think I may have shifted the phone a little bit while she was uh, swallowing, but I promise you it did go right down. There was no spitting, no hesitation, nothing. Um, so wh what I want to demonstrate with this is the order here is clearly very important. If I hand her the pill and say, if you eat this, I will give you the cheese, I'm going to get you know compliance. If I say, I'm going to hand you cheese and then I want you to take the pill, She's going to think I'm, frankly, a little bit crazy. There's, there's no reason for her to do this. There's no payoff for taking the pill. And the only reason this works is that taking the pill on cue predicts the cheese. Okay? This order thing is something that people get confused, unfortunately, a lot in uh, counter conditioning. And I see this as actually one of the most frequent mistakes when people are working on uh, counter conditioning. So um, we'll say, I'm going to give you some cheese and then I'll clip a nail. Well, no, 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 the cheese was good. The nail is not good, <laughs> okay? What we need is the scary thing, the uncomfortable thing, to predict the good thing. So it's not, let me give you some treats and then I'll show you another dog for a reactive uh, dog. It's not gonna be, let me give you some cheese or some treats and then you'll feel the needle stick, which is what we do a lot of times uh, at the vet clinic, which teaches our dogs to distrust <laughs> what we're doing at the vet clinic uh, because we've built a history of, um, of basically kind of lying to them. Hey, this is fun. This is a good time. Have some treats. Oh, by the way, needle. Okay. Um, no, what we want is, you know, I'd rather, let's be totally upfront about this. There's going to be something unpleasant. I'm going to ask you to swallow a non-food product. Okay. This is weird. Um, but I'll pay you well. And that's going to be the piece of cheese. Uh, if you don't want to see my, my training plan for training, uh, how to take a pill, um, that's on my blog. I'll put a link uh, up here on the video, or you can just go to caninesinaction.com and search for an easy pill to swallow. Uh, but anyway, that's something, hopefully that's just a really obvious example of when order matters, because it's, again, a mistake that I see happen so frequently in counter conditioning. And uh, if we keep our orders clean, uh, we'll get a lot more progress much more quickly. Thanks. Happy training.